Listen, a lot of them gonna be mad at me about these, but these the same go lay on tables and get their body injected with all type of silicone and shit. Mm. Y'all worry about a tattoo? This you true. just laid on the table and got your body cut up like this a slice of meat. This is true. Uh, but I can see, but two two things can coexist. I can see how somebody would think that's But dope. they want everybody to let women do what this they please. This let is the women do as they please. But y'all mad about a tattoo. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. The um the camera's cut off, the audio cut, we had to fix it. Uh we still we still here. Amaretta the Great, aka Amaretta the Goat, aka Amaretta can't get her foot off these Next. Uh we was having a great conversation without y'all. Sorry. We really don't care though, because uh, <laughs> if, yeah. I, you care? No, I don't. I'm not saying Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, not, sorry. <laughs> no cap. That pro- Yo, let's go to that. Okay. Before we get into the rappers. You made a lot of people get in their feelings. And you know what? See, when it was going on, I knew they was mad. But then the other day, I went and looked up my name. And I seen all the DCs that I never seen before. Like, niggas and like they literally standing on cars, like in a hoods. So I'm like, bro, y'all is mad. Did you listen to him? I listened to the train. Be real. Which one was the hardest? Don't say that name. No free room. It was one guy that was in College Park. Not hard, but he was the only one that had a little flow. It was doo doo though. Like every person that tried to diss me, it was whack. So what? The best remix? Remix. A few people had like re- like remaking this. Mm. I think Luda hopped on some. Oh, Luda did, but that was still Atlanta. You yeah, no, I'm saying city. yeah, no, nah, like no, Luda was cool. Whoever in general, I seen, I heard, I heard some from other cities. Yeah, I seen some girl from Texas. She was alright. Light skin. Mm. I don't know. I think I might have reached out to her too. She was alright. She was like in the studio room. She was alright. No, I didn't. Oh, um, they had a girl from LA. She was alright. I didn't really just see nobody. I'd be like, damn, like this is horror. Who but like man? I said, I'm not easily impressed. But I can see that though, like, and I ain't just saying this because you're here, but like, nah, like, you really lit. Like, I'm, I'm being fair. I'm gonna be real, okay. right? I ain't scared of these. I too was one of the new followers. Okay. Just being honest, I too was one of the new followers. So when I got the call that we was gonna do the, the interview, right. I started doing research and I'm like, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, you sat here and said, you've been doing this for years. Like, you, you cause moved. I studied. Yeah, I suppose okay. I act like I know because I did nah, my research. <laughs> you don't know for real. <laughs> I know. But, like, I mean, I know because I did my research. Yeah. You feel me? But, like you said, I really don't know. So I'm, yeah. I'm, look, I'm looking, I'm like, oh. Yeah. Like, you've been lit. Yeah. Since I was, like, 19, I dropped out of college to do these. Yeah, you went to HBCU. Mm-hmm. So then it's like, yeah. but I really been fine. I, I was not easy in prison. I never been easy in prison Everybody just, they think they can rap so good. But <laughs> to me, it's like, you got to have a full package. Like, you got to have, you got to have punchlines. You got to have delivery. You got to have flow. You got to know how to tell a story. Like, you got to have all these different elements for me to be impressed. Like, some people got a good flow. Some people got a nice delivery. Some people have a punchline every now and then. But they don't have the whole package. Like, I'm not impressed by that. So, where you flow that? Because I'm curious, man. I, you know, people like... You, I, I'm going to put us in some big shoes, but yeah, because we greats and goats out this Right. Kanye West, um, shit, Tupac. Albert Einstein. Mm-hmm. Too, I ain't just talking about Gemini's, but oh, like, yeah. I'm talking about like greats. Mm-hmm. Shit. People won't hear this. R. Kelly, Michael Jackson. Whoa. Hit me up. People who are really, really, really good at something, mm-hmm. they always got some with them. They all, that's what I'm saying. So, what's, what, what's underneath the, 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 the
the great lyricists, right? All these bars, because I'm old to you. It got because I know what I got some shit with me. It ain't like R. Kelly is a sicko. Okay. Like he's a sicko. But that's what I was trying to paint the picture of it. It'd be like people would be so talented, but it'd be like some bullshit with him. Like Kanye West, like I love him, but bro, what the fuck? I don't have bullshit. You got something. Tell me, t- talk to me. It's the bullshit hour. Like, what's 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 Amaretta's bullshit? I mean, regular person. Like sometimes <laughs> She don't even believe herself. <laughs> sometimes I'm moody a little bit, bipolar sometimes, crazy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to throw that in, be moody a little but bit. But it's not nothing that's just like, oh my God, it's regular, girl. It's regular. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. Back to the rap shit. Does it ever get frustrating to under, to, to see... To know that you're so far ahead of these niggas. Like, people brag about it, but that could be annoying in a space when you feel like you're alone. Nobody exists in your world. Um, I feel like, like I said, it done been frustrating in the past. But now I'm just at a point where it's just like, everybody know what's up with me. Like, it's not even the thing where I feel like I got to prove myself no more. Like, before I feel like I, I got to prove, I got to prove, I got to prove. But I don't have to prove this point no more. Like, everybody know, like, they can't see me in nothing. Mm-hmm. Like, so I ain't worried about it. It is somebody that's like you said you f- what we talking about off camera. Mm-hmm. Um, and I love this chick too. Yeah. Lady London. Yeah. Mm. Sick. Sick. Yo. Do you feel like y'all two are like similar in, in, in a way? Lady London, she she like, okay. It was the thing that made me like really, really, really f with her. Is one day she posted like this poetry slam type of rap on her page, and mm-hmm. I feel like any good lyricist, you gotta know how to write poetry, and she can do that so flawlessly. Like I don't even know how to write poetry that good. Like she sounds like she can be at a poetry slam. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's the type of stuff I aspire to do for real. So I feel like when you know how to do shit like that, you can really do anything. Like, but the people that you know, what I'm saying, well, how you talking about make the hit songs? Everybody that make hit songs. They don't know how to rap for real. They don't know how to do this type of stuff. But if you know how to do this type of stuff, you can easily learn how to make a hit song because you lyrical. That makes sense. Yeah. I, nah. What? Gotta give you a little bit of pushback. Okay. Because there's some niggas out there that's lyrical as Yeah. But struggle with making hit songs. But, I mean, listen. Okay. All these people that have hit songs today do not write their hit songs. Right. So, somebody that's lyrical can easily go get a ghostwriter. We just have integrity, and we just don't be trying to do all this. Mm. But all these people, how people say, oh, y'all got bars, but you can't make no song. You can't make a song. Somebody wrote your song. Somebody mm. wrote your song. Somebody wrote your song. Every hit song that's out right now, you go to the writer's credit, somebody else wrote it. Right. So, knowing that, right? Mm-hmm. And I understand integrity is where I was just having the conversation with my team. Where do we draw the line from, like, too much integrity integrity, and too much pride and that being the thing that hold us back. But that's why I say you got to learn how to have a balance. See, it's, to me, I don't see a problem with getting in the studio with writers, mm. and, but I don't think a writer should just have full control over your whole song. Y'all should do a collaboration and come up with something together. I like that, especially coming from you, somebody that that's so talented with your words, being open to like having like writers or collaborating but let me say these two she like hold up <laughs> <laughs> she like hold up nigga, man. when it comes to rap songs i don't be i don't get help with writing you're not as open yeah because it's like as a rap artist rap songs should come natural to you mm-hmm. but when it comes to like the melodic wave and like them type of songs like i love working with writers because like you know what i'm saying like but when it comes to like straight rap i don't because i don't even like the stuff that they bring me i'll be like because it'd be all like oh, I be these, and i'm like i don't rap like that mm-hmm. so i ain't found nobody that just like like got some type of swag that I would you doing. and that's i mean even going back to the uh lady london shit i feel like that's the biggest difference for me like i feel like when i see her she she's not talking about like pussy or like selling it but she's definitely talking about like it's, it's a more feminine style if i mix it like right. you like you going hard yeah like 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 you like i'm not gonna lie you can rap a lot, a lot better than a lot of niggas though thanks but like so I, so I will say that like when i hear her style was more feminine so would you be open to like talking about like some i don't know more feminine stuff yeah 
It depends. Um, I'm really gangster for real. I can't help it. Like the stuff that, like, if you ride, like, if you if you got a word that say, okay, say for instance, you got a, a line in your song that the end of it is cat. Most where girls gonna find a word like oh my coochie fat or something like that <laughs> but i'm gonna ride find the right word like i'm riding with that gay like that's, that's what i'm gonna go to like i'm just more on the gangster side i don't know why i'm like that i'm just more tomboyish more so it's like you know that's just who i am for real. but you're doing a good job at um like even though I don't know, again, mm-hmm. I've done my research, but I see you've been doing a good job at like transitioning or being more girly, I guess, right? Because you had a pro- people used to say like you was too much of a tomboy or whatever. I mean, I think I'll be more girly in my clothes, mm-hmm. but when it comes to like my demeanor or my music, I think my music still kind of gangster, except when I'm talking about my feelings mm-hmm. and like how I feel on the inside, like my melodic stuff. That's like more touchy, but when I do my raps, like. They gonna always be there. But no, we gotta celebrate the small wins, yeah. even in your clothes. That's a, I mean, that's a, a a big step for you, right? Like, cause it wasn't like that all the time. No, it wasn't. I used to try to do that when I was younger, but it was always hard for me. But I feel like I started watching like more YouTube channels on how to like what to do. <laughs> this is, bro, this is a really good interview so far. Like, you're re- like, I know we're like we're speaking fast through it, but like that's a that's so vulnerable for you to say, yeah. right? Like, for you to like to watch YouTube videos. Like, do you feel like you couldn't find, like, do you feel like it just wasn't in you that you didn't know how to do it, that you had to, because when I watch YouTube videos, cause it's, the, it's the learn some shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, I still be watching them. It's just like to know, like, okay, so a couple of years ago, and I was trying to figure out, like, what it is that make, like, girly girls, girly, they like wearing a lot of different earrings, like wearing bracelets, like necklaces, like wearing your pants like this, wearing your shoes like this, like, so it's like a lot of different things, where me, I just used to throw on t-shirts to jeans and some sneakers and call it a day, mm. but it's like, they say like, get your nails done, I still don't get my nails done, but, you know, it's a process. You, you, you know, you know, step by step. Yeah. You're going, you're going, soon, soon come, soon come, <laughs> soon come, we're going, we got the clothes. Yeah. Next, we're going to get the nails. I mean, but I'm not trying to be just no girly girl, because I can't, to me, that's a lot of maintenance. Like, I can't, ma- like, I'm not the type of person that's going to the nail salon every two weeks. I'm mm-hmm. never doing that in my life. Like, I don't care. Never what say never. Of, be I don't care what type of stage I'm at in my career. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to no nail salon every two weeks. I get pre songs before I do that. This is not my type of vibe. Like, I keep my hair done, but I ain't going to no nail salon every two weeks. I ain't trying to be just no girly, girly girl, but. I feel like I've been seeing you in some, like, Heels. Yeah, and I ain't then like some provocative really. clothes, clothing like on your gram. Pull it up. Let's see. I think I seen like even some lingerie or something, maybe. Pull it up. Let me see. Pull Let me like a, like a, the, the fishnet. Pull like it the... up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. I feel like I might have seen something. Like, uh, wait, 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 wait. Mm-hmm. I might can't find it. It might have been a. I feel like I. I mean, short shorts, like... That's nothing. I, I was mean, in the that... house. I didn't go nowhere with that. Oh, here we go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Great, a.k.a. Oh, the Girly Girl. Why are you showing it? Oh, it's on Instagram. Yeah, but now you're trying to prove a point but to no, the people. You First said pull all, it up. That was just a little photo shoot thing. I didn't go nowhere with that. After I got that, taking that picture, I put on a big T-shirt. Too. But that looked good, though. Like, no, but listen, I ain't can, going nowhere like this. You can do that. I'm not going nowhere like this. <laughs> she said, it ain't going. Like. It, that's, so... This is great, though. I love the vulnerability. Like, I, I feel like no woman would ever say that I go on YouTube to try to find a style I mean, because a lot of people be ashamed of stuff. I don't, I'm never ashamed of nothing. Even the bad stuff about me, I don't care because it make me who I am. So, you still with the guy, mm-hmm. the boyfriend that everybody been talking about, the tattoos and shit? Before we get into that, we're going to get into that. Oh, what did he like? Huh? What did he like? Not me posting it. For real? Yeah. No, not posting it. Like, of course, he probably don't like that oh. shit. But what do he like you to wear? I mean, I don't think he really care because we've been talking since I was, like, 14. Mm. And I used to be a real tomboy then. Like, he used to tell me I walk like I'm in the army. Like, back then. My hair used to be all over my head. My nails used to be like this, but worse. They used to be, like, real chipped up. I used to wear tennis shoes, um, jeans, she was 14, and a t-shirt. Though. 
But a lot of girls that was 14 my age, they still had their hair done. Like, they still yeah, right. was wearing skirts. I'm doing it like, my yeah, so, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I was like a tomboy, so, but he liked me then, so he don't really care about it. Mm, okay, so he don't care. So it's easy for you to be more you because mm -hmm. it's funny how our relationship shape us like right. i was talking about this not too long ago how <laughs> young niggas i'm gonna give you something vulnerable how like i just started not just it's been like five years now like when i got my girl mm -hmm. that's when i started using like loofahs that's when i started using like uh what you got now? i just went <laughs> see, I, you see i ain't judge you see judging me that's crazy for real hold on i'm using a, a wash is a sponge right yeah i was using a wash use loofahs See, but you... I'm not judging. Yeah, so I was, I was, I just started using loofahs five years ago. I just started, like, what is it called? Exfoliating my face and shit five years ago. Like, my girl, like, I say that to say, I say that to say, our relationship shaped this. So mm -hmm. if he was like, if he liked something else, who knows which route you would have went. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I feel like I just, I do me. Like, mm -hmm. I don't really just, I don't adjust to what people like about me. I just do what feels good inside of me. Like, I don't. He, he's still locked up? Because I, I, I hear, hear, I don't know too much about it. So, is he getting out soon? Yes. When? Soon. You don't know a date? Not yet. Okay, it's fine. Fuck it. Free the man. Free the guys. Period. Yo, yo, he's been locked up for at least, what, three years? Five. Right. I know it had to be longer than three years. Mm -hmm. Um, Did y'all ever get married? <laughs> Bro, no, we engaged though. Okay, I mean, bro, I told you I did my. Y'all was supposed to get married, right? I mean, you said that. Yeah, but I feel like it's a thing where you know, I don't know if we would have been like in jail or not, but it was a thing where he, I don't know, because I don't know. Where you read it? I ain't read it nowhere. So you said you it out your mouth. Where you get it from? Remember how I just said fishnets? Don't mm -hmm. test me. Don't try Please me. Pull it up. You see how I pull no, it? No, for real. Go ahead. Don't try oh, God, me. Because I don't remember saying it. <laughs> All right. You want to bet? Five dollars. Five dollars. All right, cool. It's friendly bet. Fuck it. Keep your five dollars. I'll pull it up, though. Um, Why are we talking about that? How many tattoos? Six. Six. Why so many of the same thing? Bro. Talk to me, man. Anybody ever ask you this? I feel like I ain't seeing no one. I mean, they do, but I don't give them what they looking for. But I tell give me some, okay. You feel me? Yeah, give me like something. Like, yeah. So <laughs> the first two that I got of his name, it was because he got my name. I got his name back, and we used to love each other. Well, we still live love each other. So then I just started getting them because like I get them when I be sad. That's the most time I get when I be sad and I miss him and I want him closer to me. So I just like I'm gonna get text with his name. And people always say like. Get a tattoo that means something to you, and you mean a lot to me. You mean everything to me, so I just keep me his name. But what? So, what are people saying? Cause I I know people like when I told people I was on an interview, they brought it up, but I don't understand because I haven't been saying it. Like I said, I to myself. What are people saying? Is dumb. They but to be real, a lot of these people are projecting. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of women they done dealt with men that was in jail, and mm -hmm. then. When the nigga got out of jail, he left them. Mm, but be for real. If you with a nigga and he out on the street and he cheating you, cheating on you and dogging you out, then he go to jail and tell you, baby, I'm going to change. Jay, hold down for me. And then you hold down like a dumbass. And then when he get out, he finish dogging you and cheating on you. Who fault that is? I'm already explains how she got banned from visiting her boyfriend. It's again. in there. It's not. Watch this. Yeah, I mean, you, we never had to watch the whole thing. No, I know exactly where it's at in the video. Say a word. If if I lose, I give you five dollars. I ain't tripping. Thank you. But we can't watch. It's a lot. That's a lot. You can't. That's a that's a long video. So why would you pull this up? And I was showing you. That's why I saw that. I was just showing you. But we could do it after, and I'll let the people know if 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 I want to. Thank or you. you for, for sure, for sure. I'm a man of integrity. But okay, so they're projecting. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could see why people would say it's dumb like this. Cause you see, you why? Um. First of all, people don't want to do one tattoo. They think that's dumb. Okay, the tattoo so, part, the tattoo part, I don't understand what people, why they so mad. Listen, a lot of them going to be mad at me about these, but these the same hoes go lay on tables and get their body injected with all type of silicone and mm -hmm. y'all worry about a tattoo. You just laid on the table and got your body cut up like a slice of meat. This is true. 
Uh, but I could see, but two two things can coexist. I could see how somebody would think that's. Dumb. But they want everybody to let women do what this they please. This let is the true. women do as they please. But y'all mad about tattoos? She came to talk some shit. This no, because be for real. Like I mean, you right, you right. This is, I mean, damn, that's a fact. That's a fact because it's woman. I don't think I can say that. You can say that. Wait. I feel like some women are very selective in. When yeah, it, like, very selective when it comes to protecting women mm-hmm. and women freedom. I do right. believe that. And that shit can actually kill them. Harm Not for them. Sure. A lot of these surgeons don't know what the hell they're doing. Y'all doing all that and y'all worry about me getting my boyfriend and I ain't say sweet on me. Baby, your priorities is fucked up. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen... As an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, Right. They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. I think it's, um, I think it shows a lot about who you are, though, to be honest. I mean, just, and I ain't just capping because you're here because I can disagree with you, whoever. So I'm not scared. Yeah. I say that. But. I think it shows a lot about who you are because clearly, right? Mm-hmm. One, you say what what I heard. I thought was the most interesting part is it was I get it when I miss him, mm-hmm. so I do it to make him feel closer. Right. Right. I think it's something there that could be explored more than the tattoo itself. Right. Right. I think that's the part that we could really talk about because mm-hmm. it's like, damn, where was everybody else, or what? Where did you first? Where did this feeling first come from? Right, feeling like okay, I miss somebody. Let's forget who it is. I want you to feel close, so I do this to myself right. because that could easily, even though it's not, mm-hmm. be another type of vice. Ooh, if that makes sense. Vice? It could vice, like um, something you do to somebody. Help me out. A vice is something you do to make you feel good. To pass, not past time, like to get over something. Mm-hmm. Um, something got yeah. holding you back, type. Something negative that you do that. Yeah, something yeah. negative you do to cope. That's not a negative. It, I'm saying it could be. Like, it could easily be something Because people get else. tattoos of all type of shit. For sure. At least I got tattoos something that's meaningful. For sure. For sure. I want to know, where did that come from, though? Like, you feeling like you miss him and to, in order to for him to feel closer, I got to get a tattoo. Not for him to feel close, for me to feel closer to him. Where did that come from? I don't know. I'm curious. That's that's the conversation that I'm curious. Where about. you think you come from? I I shit. I don't know. You just look like you're trying to get to the bottom. I am. I I I would love to get to the bottom. I think that would be dope. Like, I don't know. It's your Jack. I don't know. It's just I don't know. It's just something that like right now, like I'm really plotting on getting it again. People trying to stop me. Mm. I can't be stopped. Facts. How was the relationship with your parents? Well, my daddy died when I was one years old, and my mama, we were cool, but we don't have like the best relationship. Mm. When he came into your life, was that something that made you feel happy, like that filled the void? Mm-hmm. Mm. Thanks. I mean, so that would make sense that you get tattooed to, to feel cool to them. I got my dad's name on me. Ain't mm. nobody saying nothing about that. Mm-hmm. If I get if I if I tell somebody that if somebody's talking shit and like you shouldn't get his name on you and I'm like, why am I gonna get your name? They'd be like, Oh for real, they'll be happy. Facts. No, people people are weird. Oh, that's crazy. Um damn. It's interesting. So y'all engaged. You get a ring or just how you get that? He must got he must got <laughs> What the fuck? Like talk to me, man. How the fuck that happened? Niggas been j- I talked to somebody. <laughs> And I talked to Fat Trail, actually. He was saying, like, they be making plays behind bars. Like, these niggas that's locked up ain't slick, man. 
Man, they do what they got to do to survive. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Nah, so you got the ring. So, I mean, shit, it's official. I, the only reason I don't think a tattoo is that bad, I'm planning on getting my girl tatted some, some. I don't know. Like, I, don't, I don't care about it that much because, honestly, hypothetically, right, let's say the naysayers are right and y'all break up. You can get that shit covered up. But it's no breaking up, nigga. I'm serious. <laughs> I wouldn't do this if it was going to be a breakup in the future. How are you? How are you so sure? It's only one way out. We might have to cut that part. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the part we can't. Yeah, we talk about everything else, but that might be the part. I'm gonna save you, but like that might be the part. <laughs> There's only one way. Oh out. Man. We could just use our matter of fact. Don't use your imagination. Like the only way, the one way out is the walkout. That's it. That's what we want to say. But it's vice versa though. He got my, I, he got my name a lot of times on him too. Mm. I mean, I think it's, it's pretty dope. All right. Um, we talked about the relationship, the tattoos, the music. Yo, one of the most interesting things that I found when I came across your page is—is is this a challenge? This new song that you got, Mr. Right? Yeah, people make it rapping, rapping it. It wasn't. I just posted it on TikTok, and then I clicked the thing one day, and then, like, a lot of people just, they love that song. First of all, this is the most interesting challenge I've ever seen in my life. How? Because niggas is rapping your song word for word for at least a minute. Mm -hmm. Like, usually it tends to be a dance. Like, they really have to know your song to do this. This is crazy. Like, you, you wasn't, like, shot, like, like wow by this? No, because <clears throat> that song actually came from a freestyle that I did in 2019. And when I dropped the freestyle, like, it went, like, stupid viral. So a lot of them probably still know it from then. Okay. Then I dropped, it, I dropped the song, like, a month ago. But it's a song that's, like, for the women. And it's for, like, ladies, like... In hard relationships, ladies that's getting like abused physically, mentally, emotionally. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people can relate to that because a lot of them like going through that. That's their real life for real. Like so, when they listen to the song, they feel like I'm talking to them. So they gonna mm. keep playing it so they learn the song. Nah, that shit is that. Like when I seen, it, I think it was a white chick or yeah. mix. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this shit is deep. Like in the fact that she know it word for word. She made it. Facts. Like you gotta, <laughs> like you gotta mean that shit. Like that shit. I thought that was dope. Do you think that being a freestyle, right? Mm -hmm. Um, of course, sorry, not sorry, wasn't a freestyle. It was. Was it? It was. It, okay, that being a freestyle, seems like a lot of your successful things come from being a free from freestyles. Do you feel like? Do you ever feel like you're being um, put in a box? No, because Mr. Right is actually a song now. But you made it from a freestyle. Exactly. So it's not even a thing where it's, I feel like on my freestyles. It's always, I feel like it's a challenge. Mm. So I always, like, when I'm writing my freestyles, I know that the masses of the people are about to hear this, so I give it my all. But when I'm writing a song, it's just something in my head, like, subconsciously, that I'm like, it ain't that many people really gonna hear this, so I ain't going as hard as I go in my freestyle. So mm. that's why people gravitate more, because I'd be like, talking about more stuff. I be more vulnerable. I talk about more different topics in my freestyles, and it's like a whole minute of me just rapping as opposed to a song where it's like I'm trying to just get something out in 30 seconds and then the hook come back. Oh, that make damn. I would have never even thought about that. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Another thing I peep. So I used to, when I first started, because um, we just can't know each other, I started doing freestyles, right? Like, Use it, right? I had a platform. <laughs> I had a platform <laughs> with artists freestyle. Okay. And. One thing that always made me mad was these freestylers will have all these crazy freestylers and they would come on my platform and they would pick like the slowest beat or like, I don't know, the most chill shit and I'd be so hurt. Why? Because it's like, bro, I want the shit that's going crazy. Hold on. You said the freestylers would come on your page and pick your reps that you did that was slow? No, they would, they would come and when they would freestyle for me, uh -huh. they would like pick a slow beat. Or like some melodic shit, like something that's different than what they use, that, what they usually do. So, hold on, I'm so confused. You was a rapper? No, I was a host. Right? Oh, okay. I had a platform okay. where artists came and freestyle. Okay. And when I would get people to freestyle, right, yeah, the artists. Yeah, the slow stuff. Yeah, for me, and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Bro? I mean, 
Because sometimes when I go on people's platforms, I pick slow beats. And that's why I was going to, I think when I seen bars on I-95. Yeah. Seen Funk Flex. Yeah. Like, those were, like, two big platforms. Right. And, but those freestyles were a lot different than right. the ones I see you put on your page. Right. And Why it, is that? Because for bars, I-95, like, I wanted to, and even when I did um, uh, Mona Lisa, you probably ain't seen that one yet, but that was a slow thing, too. But I be wanting to, like, people to feel me. Like, I don't just want to just mm. go and just, like, like, I feel like in the future, I, like, have some platforms where I just go rap, but I feel like I be wanting, like, on them big platforms, I be wanting people to feel me and, like, understand me and kind of get to know me more than just going up there and just saying a bunch of shit. Okay. Oh, because that's one thing that definitely popped out to me, because I'm, like, I'm thinking, like, on your page, you got some... Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? But even on that Funk Flex freestyle, I feel like... That it was, was deep. It, that's what I'm saying. It was like, you got to be really intelligent to catch all the bars that I had on there. Like, I had a lot of bars on there. Like, literally, like, I was so impressed with myself after I finished that rap. I'm like, damn. Like, mm -hmm. that's why I said, I'm going to say this for Funk Flex. Mm -hmm. How was that? Like, what, Funk Flex? Yeah, like, the whole process. Like, when you first got that call, all of it. I wasn't as excited as I thought I was going to be. For real? But when I got there, I was more nervous than I thought I was going to be. I can see that. Because I was like, I always kept saying I wanted to be on Funk Flex, wanted to be on Funk Flex, wanted to be on Funk Flex. Then my manager called me, she's like, I got the great news, I got... It's the way she amped it up. You know, and somebody be like, I got great ass news. And you think it's going to be some crazy shit. And she's like, we got Funk Flex. And I was like... Okay, that's good? great. No. <clears throat> she's crazy, no? Pick that out. No, for real. <laughs> <laughs> but when I got there, I was like real nervous. Like I rap, re wrapped that rap in my head like 30, 40 times. And then when I did, when I did it, I did one take. Like I was like, damn, one take? Because a lot of people come up there, they got to keep doing I was going to ask you that. So I can't say this. We can, I got to be careful. I did. Well, I, it's cool. She cool. She cool. I did talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. And she was saying that like um, she punched in her freestyles. And that was the first mm -hmm. time I ever heard oh, no, that. I don't get it. Like, um, when you rap on a, in the studio, you punch in, right? Sometimes? No. no? So you want to take in the studio, too? I write it and then go ahead in there. Oh, you a little, you, you a little different. But no, I, the reason I don't like punching in is because I'm more of a storyteller. And I feel like, and, I, and I'm more, I'm big on my flow. So mm. it's no way that, well, it's a way, but... To me, I got more control over it when I'm writing it down and I can see the, you know what I'm saying, it going then as opposed to me just like saying something in and then listening back and be like, oh, damn, they don't even flow right. You know what I'm saying? So that makes sense. I just write it down. But yeah, the girl was saying she punched in for her freestyles and I'm like, I'm surprised they do all that work. So, but you saying that, I got this, this thing I just started doing. It's called charge it to my brain mm -hmm. and not my heart. Mm -hmm. So what it means is my actual question and you just give your personal opinion. But if you forget something or don't mention something, charge it to my brain, not my heart. So you said you're a storyteller. Mm -hmm. Who do you think the best storyteller is? Ever. That's a good question. Ever, yeah. Uh, let me know. That's not bad. I'm not mad at that. I'm not Cleaning mad at that. Cleaning Out My Closet was the best song in my, my childhood. Stan. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not mad at that. So if you had to give me top three, who would it be? Eminem, me. Me? Me. Oh, you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, now you gotta give me five. Polo G tell a good story. Give me two more. What? Give me two um, more. Lady Bundy. She tell a great story. Hard. Um. If you give me Eminem, you gotta give me somebody in that in that range. If you gonna go back to Eminem, who else? Shit, I can name a few. Go ahead. Biggie. I didn't listen to Biggie. Tupac. Uh, I probably wouldn't put Pac in that for storytelling, Biggie. but I'm 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 probably not as that's probably an ignorant take because I'm probably not as versed. But, but I would definitely say Biggie. Are oh, you more of a Biggie fan? No, I like Pac. It's just I'm saying I probably wouldn't know too much about Pac, but I lo I love Pac as a as a person, I guess. I used to love his demeanor. But as I got older, I started to listen to Biggie and I started to hear what he was saying. Like, damn. So I would say Biggie. I would say 
Jay Z. I'm listening to Jay Z. I would say Meek Mill. I would say. You just throwing people. I'm not. Crazy. You think I'm? You is crazy. You think I'm? Tony's story is one of the best stories. That's ever. all you could say. But that was a really great. But that's all you could say. But I maybe. But I, that was a really great story, and I feel like he set the bar. For, like even if I said T Grizzly, right? T Grizzly is a really good storyteller. I get it. But Meek, like. T- me personally, I maybe I have some biasness in it. Don't quote me on it, but I just I don't. If no. we speak in storytelling, yeah, that's the only one. Yeah, I mean I'm pretty sure it's others, and again I'm probably ignorant in my because I, I haven't researched this right. I wasn't prepared to have that conversation, but I just I don't know. I would say me for sure. Um, uh, I probably won't be able to get it five either. Exactly. But charge to my brain, not my heart. It is what it is. Yeah. That's the whole point. The, of it. the people. You said the people I named was questionable? I'll let you have your people. Because my people was good. My people were good. Biggie Smalls was fucking amazing. I didn't say nothing about Biggie Smalls. Okay, you said Biggie Smalls and Jay-Z. I'll get them that. Who else? I said Biggie, Jay-Z. I said Meek Mill. I said, um, I think I said somebody else. I forgot. Shit. I would put M in there. I think M is a really good storyteller for sure. Um, I would leave it at that. I probably won't have five. Yeah. Um, I'm probably forgetting some, but again, charge to my brain, not my heart. Okay. Another thing that I thought was interesting about you, yo, you were on, like, you had this time, you had Love and Hip Hop, Atlanta, right? What were you, again, me not knowing, you came up with, um, Sorry Not Sorry, what, last year? This, like, this year? Last year. I, I I wrote it last year and I dropped it at the beginning of this year. Okay, cool. You was on Love and Hip Hop like years ago. Last year. Last year. Mm-hmm. What were you doing? Like So basically, they came to me and told me that they was going to film my rise to the top. Right. That's how they pitched it to me. Right. I was cause they they, they first said Love and Hip Hop, I was like, no, Love and Hip Hop's drama. Right. They pitched it to me like it was my rise to the top, no drama, none of this stuff. So we started filming, and we just filming. They filmed a lot of stuff about my career, but they also filmed a lot of stuff about me and my mama. That was the storyline. And then when it came out, they only showed stuff about me and my mama. So that's why I didn't return. Mm. But it had to be, like, you had to be some, some sort of lit, have some type of name. Yeah, I mean, to like, to, Right. So it's crazy that, like, we're just, so many people are just hearing about you, but you really been lit. But like, before Love & Hip Hop, I already had a million followers. I had, like, one... Point two million followers. Okay, okay. That I makes was sense already late. Damn. Yeah. Sheesh. You late? Yeah. Hey, I'm not. I'm not listen. I'm not scared that many. No, 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 no. It's okay. A lot of us. <laughs> <laughs> you know now, nigga. Like it's all good. Like, you know now. But it's crazy that I thought I, you even. You would believe that because I mean, shit. It's been, it's always been drama, though, right? Like, they, I feel like they get. But they with said that. they said because of COVID, everybody was gonna have their own. Like, we was gonna be mixed in together. Okay. Everybody was gonna have their own segments, which everybody did have their own segments, but it was still around the drama. Yeah, I'm like fuck you, nigga. I'm out. Fuck yeah, facts. I'm like, <laughs> they's like, is you gonna come back? We was on the call, and I was just like, bro, y'all ain't got no hip hop on the show. My fans want to see my career. They don't want to mm. see me argue with my mom. Mm. No, that's hard, man. So, I mean, what's, what's going on now? Like, you, uh... I just dropped my EP. Yep. Like, shoot some music videos. Hopefully go on tour. Who would you go on tour with? I don't know. But, even if I knew, I wouldn't see it, Jim. I mean, you gave me some good shit, so I ain't really mad. You gave, exactly. you, you gave me some good shit. All exactly. Right. I ain't tripping off of that. Um, okay, tour. Uh, you dropped the EP. The song that we were talking about with the challenge... That's the one that got Tink on it, or mm-hmm. that's on my EP. Okay, what else? What else we got going on? Um, I got a lot of stuff going on, unmusic related that like I'm what? just starting up. You do, you're very creative. You be yo, I saw that you did your own um outfit for rolling out <laughs> and the uh backup dances. Like yeah, bro. I started sewing like 2018. I found out I could sew, and I'm supposed to be starting my clothing line. I'm I'm taking my time because the series. A lot of people think starting a clothing business is like you just doing something, but I want my stuff to be like 
Ralph Lauren, Chanel, all them. I don't just want to just start no clothing line in two, three years old. I ain't gonna lie, you really might just be a, a Gemini. No, I am. Like, stop playing on my top. I say that because I don't think I've ever met a Gemini that, that's not like, like that don't hustle. Exactly. Ever. I am the epitome. No, nah, yeah. You, exactly. You, you got a lot of, like, damn. Hey, come on now, bro. Oh, no, no, no. You got, you got the you got the you Gemini. You look up Gemini, you see my birthday. I like that. That's that's hard. So, wait, you also, was you writing a book or something? I had, I started writing a book. That was, um... Boy crazy? Bro, you you researching too much for me. What, bro? Come on, son. I got to do my job. Yes, I was writing a book called Boy Crazy. Uh-huh. I stopped writing it. My, I, the reason I thought about that one day is because I went and looked on my Gmail and I seen it. And I'm like, damn, it's a pretty good book. I mm-hmm. read it. And I, but I used to write books all the time when I was younger. Like, before I started rapping, I used to write little short stories. Mm-hmm. And I used to go in my middle school class. And I used to pass my compilation book around and let everybody read it. Mm. Why you stop though? Why you why you stop writing that book? I um I don't know. I I begin to straight mm. like I never I don't complete things. I never completed the book. I barely complete like when I write my music, I do one verse and a chorus, and I don't complete it until I have to. Mm. That makes sense. Uh, you got uh, are you doing an autobiography too, or no? I thought somebody said that. But anyway. Not me. Okay, no. All right, so you got the clothing line. You you said you you going through that. Um, you got the EP. You might go on tour. Uh, what else is going on in Amaretta world? Um, I want to spill all my beans. I ain't mad at that. Yo, how long did you know about this interview? I don't know. Maybe a week. Why? Just curious. I don't know. You can be honest as one. A day. Whenever y'all book. <laughs> Whatever. Did you think about the interview before you came here? Like, did you think about the things you wanted to talk about? No. No? I asked that because I was curious if, out of all the questions, out of all the interviews you've been on, right, out of all of the questions that people ask you, what's the question that somebody never asked you that you've been dying for somebody to ask? Mm, I don't know. Every time I have... Like, cause I kind of talk to myself a lot and I have fake interviews with myself a lot. And right. every time I have my interviews, it always be about my relationship. Cause I be trying to prepare myself. Mm. Cause I know that's the main thing that everybody be trying to ask. Well, not in here. Cause you had most stuff to talk about. But a lot of interviews, they really not good interviews. And it just take like the main thing that's like going viral on blog sites. And they talk about it. So I be trying to prepare myself. What are some of the questions you ask yourself? That somebody probably missed over that didn't ask you. <laughs> like, what are the things you're preparing for? I don't know. Like, them asking, like, why is you here? Why are you lying? Like, stuff like that. And I mean, like, what's the answer? Bro, I knew you spent trying to do that. You're not going to treat me. You, like that. you didn't ask, so that's over with. Yo, you asked. No, no, no. Fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> Fuck that. You didn't ask. Like, what's the answer? 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 I'm trying to get in your head. I want to know, like, what are the things that you're thinking about that nobody else is thinking about? Like, I'm really curious. Bro, I think about a lot of stuff nobody thinks about. Shit. No need just trying to find me out. That's what the interview is for. Like, but you literally. didn't ask. You, this was not on your roster. It was. No. I asked you the question to get it out to invoke some emotion. No, 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 no. You try to take my good interview questions <laughs> and try to use them. No, you should have had that lined up. I'm not answering it. Fuck it, it's cool. You love him because you love him. You gonna stay beside him. Ain't nothing Period. wrong. Like, tell me again. You heard it. I'm a writer of the great dope conversation with dope people, man. I don't get no doper than this. Yo, I um, wish you much success. Man, you really kill niggas. Thank you. Not for real. Though. Like, like, I say all the time, interviewing somebody that's actually good is so worth my while. Yeah. And like, doing the research on you was easy because it was like, it was just interesting and it was good. Like the music was good. Mm-hmm. The only thing I do um voice is that just being honest and, and just being this is my opinion. Mm-hmm. I do feel like people like such as yourself that's talented like that get over get overlooked and like people just don't give them the, the like they never get that just do. Mm-hmm. We see it sometimes like J. Cole. I think J. Cole is probably one of the few. Um Kendrick. Right. Um so we have people out there for sure, but like it's just, I definitely want you to get your just do, and I definitely 
that's coming. Mm-hmm. Nah, for sure. It's yeah. on the way. Like, I, I feel like I used to be worried about stuff like that, but I don't even be worried about it no more because I just know how talented I am. I'm not worried. Nah, for real. Like, you make me want to rap. Period. Like, you make me, like, like I said, I had my little rap shit. Mm-hmm. You make me want to set that up and be like, man, I need to do my freestyle. Like, that shit, your shit's hard, bro. Thank you. Nah, for real, man, I appreciate you. That's all I got, though, man. You got anything else? That, is there anything I didn't talk about that you wanted to talk about? Nope. Um, yeah, I'll get my EP, Emotion Against the, it's the Fire thing, guys. The best thing that dropped this year, I went live, y'all, cause everybody drops some doo-doo. Mm-hmm. I dropped some great stuff, and it's versatile. It's not just rap. Singing a little bit, real stuff, real rap. You say your people hate when you sing. They do, but I don't care. They can't stop me. <laughs> I fuck with it, man. Great conversation, for real. Uh, tell them where to follow you for the people that don't know. They're going to know, but tell them. Um, y'all can follow me on Instagram at Amaretta, O-M-E-R-E-T-T-A. You can follow me on Twitter at Amaretta 4L, and you can follow me on um, TikTok on Amaretta 4L.